Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Tons of exclusive content. You'll also get to see my wife, my sister, my brother, my friends and family members all joining in on some of the exclusive, interesting, entertaining material that's on my website. Also check out all my YouTube channels. Everything that you could possibly want is there. You'll find it. Some people have been asking me that are fans of the drunken peasants, usually teenagers and children who get a hold of me on Skype. Even though I've made it abundantly clear I do not want to speak to teenagers or people who are under the age of 18, sadly that is the type of fan base that drunken peasants has. But they have questions and some of them are somewhat polite and ask me, Brett, why have you started making videos up again about the Amazing Atheist? Well, I am more than willing to explain this to you. It's very simple. When the Amazing Atheist did his original challenge to me, I did what he asked me to do. And repeatedly he said he wasn't going to pay, it took a month, and then finally he paid. But he did not pay the entire deal. He did not give me all the money that I was owed for the challenge. But the reason why I made a video saying thank you, blah blah blah, you're a man of your word and all this shit, because I simply did not want to argue and fight with the fucking prick anymore. I didn't want to have anything to do with him. So I went on my way. But since then he's made a t-shirt about me, he's taken more content and put more of my videos up on his channel without my permission along with many other YouTubers out there who have contacted me and stated that they are going to probably DMCA this fuckhead for stealing their videos. I know that if any one of these little drunken pussy fans had content up on their YouTube channel and TJ were to steal their videos, put them up there and make fun of them, it would be all over. There'd be a fucking war out there if it was your video. But because it's me, or because it's Jenny McDermott, or because it's Anita, or someone you don't like, or because you think the Amazing Atheist is cool, you give him a pass and something that clearly violates community guidelines and YouTube terms of service. I've already personally contacted YouTube, and I am going to go through the process of having this whole entire show removed, and I don't fucking care. Why am I doing that for? Because every time they've made a video towards me or used my content and attacked me, I have an, a huge fan base come over to my channel and attack me. And not only do they attack or insult the shit out of me repeatedly and then go after my brother and my wife, go over to Games You Love and insult my son who is trying to make gaming videos including my friend J-Dubs, you fucking bastards actually will flag my videos and DMCA me. You think that it's okay for him to grab my content and use it, but if I make a video replying or responding to some of the accusations or slander or bullshit he said at me or other YouTubers, then you think that I ought to get knocked down, even when I'm nothing close to the cruelty and meanness that comes out of his show. His entire show is built on the foundation of taking other people's content. Do you know how many users out there have lost their fucking channel and lost millions of subscribers because they take other people's videos and then present it as their own and they claim that it's a reaction video or they claim that it's them just simply watching and pointing out their criticisms and then bullshit you by saying it's fair use. Do you know why the word fair is used in the word fair use? Because when you use other people's content, you're only allowed to use some of it. And it has to have to do with either reviews or parody or news. Not to fucking bully people. Not to play their entire content so you can make fun of the way they look, the way they talk, 
or talk shit about their family. Do you think that Stephen King would consider it fair use if you were to put pictures all over your fucking channel of him and then call him a piece of shit and tell him that he probably fucks his mother? Do you really think that if you stood in front of a judge or a court that they would allow that? Do you really think, as an atheist in America, that you can stand in front of a judge and say, Oh, yeah, I put pictures of these people up and I fucking make fun of them all day, including their children. You really think you're going to get away with that? Why do you think TJ hasn't taken me to court for any of the videos that I've done? Pointing out that he's admitted to pedophilia. That he has actually admitted to sitting there stealing people's fucking content. To where he's actually advocated rape and made fun of women who've been raped. Fuck the amazing atheist and fuck his stupid ass little mindless fans who sit back and think that that's cool. TJ, I tried to get away from your bullshit. I figured, you know what, if I just say something nice about the guy and I walk away, maybe he'll go fucking find something else to do. But you did You didn't stop. In fact, you actually challenged my brother on YouTube to make a song for you of John Cena. You said that you would pay if he did this. He did it, and you did not pay. We could have been finished. We could have drew the line. That could have been it. But no, you continued on. So since you lied to my brother, and you lied to me, and you also lied to your fucking fans, and that you steal, and you scam, and you fucking advocate rape, and then also with Steve Shivs, you actually did a video getting on to him for laughing at a woman who was allegedly raped. And then you actually made a video a while back where you fucking got yourself recorded making fun of a woman telling her that she deserved the most painful experience in her life. And all that's in my videos that we got here. People can go through all this shit and see every diabolical fucking thing that you've ever done. That's right. I didn't delete them. I made them all private. Because I figured and assumed that there's a good probability that you would not stop pushing me. Well, now you're going to pay for it. Peace. The fuck out.